What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be looking at a scooter hack that's gonna improve my life tenfold, absolutely tenfold, and hopefully it's gonna help you guys out too because that's gonna be converting 12 standard wheel bearings over to an eight millimeter axle so that way you can ride it on your normal axle. Yes, you heard me right, I'm talking riding 12 standard bearings. Yes, the bigger bearings. You're gonna be riding these on your normal axle. I know, it's gonna be amazing. This tutorial is probably gonna help a small group of people, but I'm gonna be making it anyway, because it's for anyone who doesn't wanna jump onto a 12 standard compatible deck, but wants to be able to try out 12 standards without having to get a new deck, you know what I'm saying? And that of course is because 12 standard needs a bigger axle, and normal axles are gonna fall right through that hole of the new deck. And the reason because is the axle for the 12 standard wheels is huge, so no decks come with an axle hole this big. They're all normal axle sizes, except for a couple brands, which of course you'd have to switch over to them, which is why we're making this tutorial. You don't have to switch, guys. You don't. Now, I've only ridden these 12 standard wheels in general, in totality, probably about maybe three separate days at the scooter farm when I was working there. And honestly, just from those three days, the wheel, oh my god, it felt so good. And I cannot wait to try these out again. And in fact, in the 54th Chronicle, I'm going to link it up in the cards right there. It's either there or there. I keep forgetting. But go peep that Chronicle, because I'm going to be testing out these wheels in that video. And oh my god, I know I'm going to love it. We're going to throw it out on those, because I'm going to have so much speed. Oh, I just can't wait. These wheels are going to be the best. They're going to be the best. So go peep the 54th Chronicle, because there's going to be some great rides with those wheels on there if you want to see me test them out so i'll probably make a review on these wheels maybe in like six months or something like that once i've given them like a nice time of riding to see how they really feel i don't know maybe not six months maybe sooner we'll see so now we're going to go into the requirements of what you actually need to do this conversion first you're going to need a deck with enough space in the back now i'm going to throw up a video on my deck right now it actually has enough room to have this wheel actually held in the back without actually touching the sides of the deck or anything like that so i can figure out the spacers and i have enough room to work with you see what i'm saying some decks are older and they actually have the walls closer so that way you actually might not be able to use these wheels. So make sure you check your deck before you try this. Second, you're gonna need the actual 12 center wheels itself. Yeah, I know, crazy to think that you need the wheels for a conversion. Third is you're probably gonna need a couple spacers and maybe access to something to maybe sand down a spacer if you need to. I know I did, so that's something I wanted to bring up. And last but not least, actually the most important is the actual 12 standard fork itself. Now, in the end, you're gonna be riding the 12 standard wheel on the 12 standard fork. There's no workaround for the fork itself. I'm sorry. You just need to get the fork. But we can fix the back and we can actually make 12 center wheels work with the normal axle in the back without getting anything new. That is if you meet the requirements. And the reason the fork is so important in this entire equation is because the 12 standard fork comes with spacers that actually will sit right inside here. And normally for the 12 standard wheels, you don't need anything. In fact, this thing pops right on and I'd put the axle in and that's good to go. But the reason they have those spacers is so you're allowed to actually ride a normal axle in the 12 standard fork. And I'm gonna show you guys some close-ups of these bolts, but essentially your fork is gonna come with two sets of these silver things, so four in total. And what these spacers do is they actually connect into each other on the fork. So if I'm putting it together right now, I have this flat one on top here, and then I have the other one on the bottom, and if I press hard enough, See that? Right there. Now it's clicked in. And if I did that to the other side, I can now ride a normal 8 millimeter axle in my 12 standard fork. And the reason that's important is because we're going to be taking those spacers out because they're removable and we're going to actually be adding them to our bearing to make the bearing 8 millimeter axle compatible. I know, smart. And so what you're going to have to do is, of course, you're going to have to pop out one of your bearings to the 12 standard wheels. Don't worry, the bearings are so good and so fat that you can actually pound these out. You don't have to really worry. They're pretty strong. Now, if you take off one of your bearings and you actually see what's inside here, what you're going to get is the huge spacer that sits inside for the bigger bearings. We're not really going to need this anymore because that's for the 12 millimeter axle and we're going to go over to 8 so that is not pointless. But eventually we are going to have to replace that exact spacer and I would recommend just a small normal spacer something like this. I know you can find one but I'd probably put that in the middle of course on top of what I'm going to show you here. Now of course our axle right now is going to go right through the bearing and it's going to have leeway. That can't work. Now we need to actually make it 8. So you take these spacers, and if we look on the inside, this is the way I'm gonna be doing it, is I'm gonna be taking this flat one, and I'm gonna be putting it on the inside of the bearing, holding it in place, and I'm gonna flip it over and get the other one that has a little bit of a lip to it, the one that from your fork is gonna be on the inside, we're gonna take that one, and we're gonna actually connect these, because these fit inside of each other, they're male and female. And so once you've actually pressed them together now, they're not gonna fall out of your wheel at all, and now that side is actually converted to eight millimeter axle, and now it'll fit in snug, and that's how we do it. Now we're gonna be doing the same thing to the other side and we're gonna be adding that spacer in the middle because of course, now that we don't have the 12 millimeter one completely left open and you gotta put something in there so that way when you compress your bearings, you're not actually compressing on nothing. It has something sitting there so it can have the pressure, the bearings can work correctly and you're gonna have maximum speed, which is so essential for these wheels. So don't forget that spacer in there. Very important. And so with the other 12 standard bearing, we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna get the flat thing, put it on there, get the other one from the fork, connect them together, and your bearing is essentially gonna look like this. I'll try to zoom in and stuff. 
but your bearing's gonna look like it's got a layer on top and a layer on bottom, which it should. And so now this is on you guys to get a bearing press or do whatever. I don't recommend a hammer because every time I've hammered my bearings into wheels, I personally break my bearings. I think it might actually work better with the 12 sander because they're stronger, but I'm not that guy. I'm gonna use a bearing press. Well, not really, I have an actual normal vise, but it'll do the job. And what you wanna make sure is that spacer stays in place in the middle, that way when you're putting that bearing on, it's not off, and of course, you know, the spacer's not gonna work well. So what I did, I have like a little tiny Allen key, I just literally put it through there as I was doing the vise, that way so the spacer will stay in space, you know what I'm saying? So once you have your modified bearings, you have your brand new spacer in the middle, that is when you're gonna press everything together and your wheel has been successfully converted from 12 standard axle back to a normal eight so you can ride it in your scooter without to switch the back of anything of your scooter like I'm talking my scooter stays exactly the same but I got 12 standard now so good I just got to say a shot to the farm for the wheels and the fork when I was over there I got them from them they're the absolute best without you guys I would not be trying these absolute beasts in the 54th Chronicle so go ahead support them go ahead use my promo code cross 10 save yourself 10% and support me because you know I need the money I mean look at this I get like what five views a YouTube video but seriously go support them they're seriously the nicest people in the sport oh my god they're the best and then once you got your bearings pressed in I don't right now because I'm not gonna stop this clip you know what I'm saying but once you got it pressed in then it's your duty to take that wheel and try to see how it's gonna fit on the back of your deck whether you need to get some spacers the two spacers you probably had for your normal wheels sand them down super hard you know or whatever's gonna work that's on you guys. My job was to show you how to convert the 12 millimeter axle to an 8. I've done my job. Now go out, be gnarly, and hopefully do this to your wheels because, oh my God, you're going to want the benefits of this bearing. You're going to want the benefits of this wheel, but we don't want to change axle because that's too much customization on my part. Got to get a new deck and then I got to do that. Okay, you know what? No. Just get the fork and wheels. It's going to come with the spacers. You're pretty much good, which is why I recommend go picking up from the farm. You know, cross that again. But thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully it's helped you out. I know it helped me out because I'm going to be riding these bad boys on my scooter and it's going to be such a good ride. But drop a like if this video helped you. Comment down below if you're going to do this to your wheels or if you know somebody's going to do it to their wheels because it's seriously so beneficial to your riding. These 12 sand wheels are no joke at all. At all. They're completely different from any other wheel I've ever ridden ever. Which is why I'm going to have to do a full review on them because there's a lot to talk about. And subscribe to the channel because I come out with videos on this channel literally three times a week, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And on Tuesdays, I sometimes come out with two videos. So, yeah. And turn on post notifications to never miss out on a video because you don't want to miss anything on this channel. Whether it's actual scootering, whether we're talking about scootering, whether we're talking about scooter hacks, dog, I got the content. Come on over to my channel. Turn on post notifications. But until next time, guys, I will see you and hopefully this helped you out. Until next time. Ride to paradise